Hey everyone, Donna Rios here. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a banner and put it on your website and then make it a clickable link to wherever you need it to go so that people have to click on the image to be taken to somewhere else. You know, so whether it's an opt-in page or, you know, anything like that, then that's where we're leading them to. So I went into PicMonkey just because of the fact, I mean, there's Canva, there's Pagemoto, all those kind of things. I went to PicMonkey because, to me, it's the fastest to work with. Um, it's very easy. It's straightforward. I'm not having a lot of, you know, I'm not having to check a lot of things. Um it's just a very quick and easy program so that's why I chose this especially for beginners because I don't want you to get so caught up in all the different things that you can do so okay well here we are now if you can see that um, I got my I got my little image and how I wanted it to look and everything so all I'm going to use because this is going to be way bigger than what I need I'm just going to get Jing and I'm just going to kind of chop it down to size because I want it to be more thinner, for sure. Um, so you know, kind of just look at it, and you could either you could balance it like that, you could make it a little longer. However, you want to do that, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna click, click save. This is going to be, oops. and again, I'm just saving it onto my desktop right now, so it's just easy for me to find. Okay, so I'm going to close that out. So now I get to go to, um, let me see, where am I going? I'm going to my website. So I already logged in, and um, I'm going to create a new post just for, um, and I'm clicking Add New, and just for demonstration purposes, and I'm going to say, um, whoops. Record. That's what I'm going to call this. You know, of course, you're going to call it anything you want. So I'm just clicking down here. I'm clicking Add Media. So I'm going to upload the file that I just created. And again, I'm going to my desktop. And it's right there. So let that upload. And once I upload it, right here, you know, I. If you want to do it here, you can do it on your other page. It's up to you. I'm going to center this, and I want it to be the full size for right now. So let's check to see how that goes, and then I'm going to insert it into my post. So, and there's my image. So, of course, you can have it. You can have, you know, writing on top, writing on the bottom. You know, it can be in the middle of the post, whatever you want it to do. So all I'm doing now to add an image to, I mean, to add a link to where I want to, say I want it to go to an opt-in form, right? And I'll do that just so that, you know, you can kind of see how it all works. So I'm just going to click on the image, and right up here on the little link, I'm just going to click the link. And right here I can put whatever link I want. So it doesn't have to stay within your website. It can go to an affiliate link if you want it to. It can go to an opt-in page, whatever the case is that you want it to do. So let me, I'm just going to, this is going to be an opt-in form, okay? And I'm going to open it in another window because I don't want people to come off of my website. And I'm going to click update. Now once that's there, then I can, you know, of course you're going to have to fill in all your category, your tags, and all that kind of stuff. But then I'm just going to publish it. And let it publish. And once it publishes, then I'm going to click here. I'm, I just right click and open it in a new tab so I can see it right away. And there's my image. Now, this bottom part is not what I added. This is another little free training plug. This is a, a free plugin I'm going to do a training on. So everything from, you know, the bottom of the image is what we just created. So you can kind of see when I hover over it, how it kind of fades in and out. And that just means there's a link there. So I'm just going to click on the link now, and it should go straight to an opt-in form. And there it is. So um, 
so I hope that was pretty easy for you to understand. You know, it was, it, it's nothing really to, once you get your image where you want it to, you just click on it to, you know, highlight it, make sure it's all surrounded, and go to the little link tab. You in, insert your link and then just update it, save it, and then just update your page, and it should go to whatever link that you put in there. So like I said, it could be an affiliate link, it can be an opt-in page, it can be whatever you want. You know, I hope that explained it well enough for you, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to, to talk to me and reach out to me. I hope um, that you have a great day, and we will talk to you soon.